Enfield Armory has come out with a new rifle that mimics the M16. And that is what we have in this bag right here, the Springfield Armory 16A2 rifle. Now, if you were to pick up this rifle at your local shop, depending on where you get it, you're gonna be looking at price point of 1200, 1250. Again, depending on where you get your rifle. Now, I do want to note that I did get sent two aluminum magazines. So when you purchase your SA-16, it's gonna come with one aluminum magazine. All right, so let's unzip this. <laughs> oh man, this is just classic. <laughs> Hold up, let me put this away here. The SA-16A2 rifle by Springfield Armory. <laughs> and look at this magazine, aluminum. It's got a nice action on that release too. And of course, the classic carrying handle, like the classic M16. <laughs> Look at that buttstock. Oh, that's so good. You would think that the SA16A2 would feel heavy just on how it looks. But to be totally honest, without any rounds in the magazine, it's, it's fairly light. And you can definitely, I feel like you could maneuver it pretty easily on the range, you know, shooting targets. I mean, so far it's feeling good in the hand, especially with a fixed buttstock like this. I mean, it's almost perfectly matched uh, length with how I usually carry my rifles, but overall this would be... Yeah, I mean, this is pretty nice already. I might be alone on this, but something I do like on rifles is the, the A2 style front sight up here. Like, for some reason, I like that look. And it definitely is classic uh, with the M16 and now especially the Springfield Armory 16A2 rifle. The one thing I do wish this rifle had was that burst. But you do see here on the lower, it does say burst, but you can't switch to the burst because obviously it you just can't do that. It's your basic safe and fire uh, switches, but in this case, it's called the semi or the semi, right? All right, let's load up the magazine. So if you're like me and you shoot ammo all the time, from 9 mil to 5.56 to 7.62, True Shot Ammo has all of those calibers and more. So if you need to pick up some new ammo, go to the link down below in the description and go check out True Shot Ammo. When you use that link and you order off the website, I get a small kickback which allows me to do videos like this and more. All right, let's go load this up and shoot this rifle. I am expecting quite a bit from this rifle. So let's go out and I'll bring you along with me as usual. All right, this should be fine. We're probably, what, probably 20 yards away from the steel target. Right, to be totally honest, I'm expecting this rifle to shoot flawlessly. Uh, I am excited about just how little recoil I think it's going to be, only because I've shot Springfield Armory rifles quite a bit, and in the past, they're very smooth, they're very lightweight, but the recoil is almost non-existent. I don't know what it is they do over there at Springfield Armory, but their rifles just have, like, Zero recoil sometimes, but for some reason Springfield Armory does it right. Let's give this guy a go and have some fun. Oh, that was, that sounded very tactile and I love that. When it comes to the weight, after I'm putting 30 rounds in here, it's not bad. It really isn't that heavy, especially, you know, it being the M16 type of rifle, not bad. All right, here we go. Okay, what I'm not used to is <laughs> I have to aim through this little tiny hole uh, on the rear sight. I'm just used to an optic on my rifles. Now, of course, there is the dial up here to adjust for windage and all that stuff too if you need to, but this way is up and this way is down for adjusting. Now, if you wanted a bigger rear sight, all you have to do is flip this rear sight over to kind of the bigger holes. Right now we have this little hole here on there, but if you switch it up, you'll have that larger rear sight, which allows you to see through the rear sight a lot more clearly. Now, how does, how does it shoot, right? All right, no more rounds, but overall, man, I gotta say, it shoots real flat and the trigger reset 
is apparent. But yeah, you saw it there. Again, practically almost no recoil. I love how long the rifle is, which helps with stability and reliability of shooting a gun like this. So it's not, it's not terrible at all. I will say the, the total reset on the trigger, there is some play, like there is take up on it. It's not massive, but you do notice it when you're shooting it right off the bat. There's that wall take up right there and there's the break. And if we let go, it's very clear, tactile, and then break it again. The trigger reset on that was a little rough, but once you get going, it's not as rough. It is still smooth, but I'm sure there's that breaking period on the trigger with the reset, the wall, and breaking it, and all of that. So if I give it just maybe like a few more mags through this rifle, I feel like that trigger reset will be a lot smoother and more comfortable as I go. Now, just out of what, those 10, 15 rounds, it's not getting very hot, but it's just, it's a tad bit warm. I mean, just letting you guys know off the rip here, but so far I'm loving the way it shoots. Like this is something I think we've all wanted in our gun collection. And it's really cool that Springfield Armory has brought it to life for people all over. Now, something that I'm realizing that you'll have to get used to if you do pick up the SA-16A2, is that pistol grip. It's a little more aggressive, which is fine with me, but I'm not liking this nub on here. If you see the pistol grip, there's this nub. I like a flat pistol grip. That's just my personal preference. All right, let's go load up another mag and shoot some more through this, but first, let's handle it like this and walk down the range. <laughs> I think a lot of people are going to enjoy having that handle on the rifle. The SA-16A2 features an M16 pattern bolt carrier group with a carpenter 158 steel bolt and staked gas key for enhanced strength and performance. High pressure tested and magnetic particle inspected, it ensures consistent performance and durability. Additionally, its melanite coating provides both protection and lubricity. The SA-16A2 from Springfield Armory features an integral bayonet lug located at the base of its front sight assembly. The fixed A2 style front sight tower is pinned and designed to work with the A2 pattern rear sight assembly for maximum downrange performance. The A2 pattern pistol grip features a finger groove and grip and enhancing texturing. The A2 pattern flash hider has a closed bottom design with no slots at six o'clock position. Each SA-16A2 rifle comes with a 30 round magazine featuring an aluminum body and plastic follower. Dual sling swivels are located on the buttstock assembly and forend of the SA-16A2 rifle. The round ribbed handguard of the SA-16A2 features integral aluminum heat shield and facilitates comfortable handling and maneuverability in various shooting positions. The forend houses the 20 inch chrome lined barrel with 1.7 twist and M4 feed ramps, as well as a rifle length gas system for both accuracy and reliability. And I guess my question is, who is this rifle for? One well, plain terms, if, if you're like me and you think Americans should be able to have the right to have guns and whatever they want, then this gun is for you. But ultimately, who's going to go into a shop and spend about 12 to 12.50 on this kind of rifle? To be totally honest, I think those who like paying homage to the traditional uh, type of rifles in the military. I, I think that's what Springfield Armory had in mind and who their clientele would be with this M16 style type of rifle. Now, obviously there's exceptions to that because I would for sure have gone out and bought something like this because dude, it's the M16 type of style rifle that I like. And at one point I do want to own an original M16 with the burst function. I mean, who doesn't, right? All right, we got some more rounds in the magazine. We'll insert. Let's shoot one from here. Oh, buddy. Man, okay, I, I will say after that shot, even just from like 30 plus rounds, that trigger reset is getting a little bit better for me. Now that's just, I'm not hyping that up. That's just literally how I'm feeling the rifle and that trigger, so. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's a flat trigger reset. Yeah, I think I'm right on that. When I'm shooting it more, that trigger reset is a little bit more smooth and clearer. 
You know, what I do like about this is that the magazine is aluminum. Now, there is a plastic follower in the magazine, but overall, it feels like a real rifle. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but when you have something like this that's so big and just, like, the military-style rifle, right? This magazine almost feels like the cherry on top of a beautiful, delicious cake. Only because you feel how tactile and you feel the oomph of putting that aluminum magazine into such a historical and traditional but yet reliable rifle. <laughs> I mean, that just sounds so good. I'm finding that I have to maneuver around the rifle just because it's so big, especially with that fixed buttstock. Like I'm saying before, you know, I'm not used to fixed buttstocks, but as I'm like drawing, I have to really take note to bring it out and drive it into my shoulder how I usually would do with, uh, you know, something like this. Now, of course, you don't need the aluminum magazines to function with this rifle. If you wanted to take your regular PMAC magazine insert, I mean, it's going to work and you're good to go. So it's cool that they do uh, come with aluminum magazine, but you don't have to have the aluminum magazine to make sure the rifle functions. Would you go out and spend about $1,200 on something like this that pays homage to the traditional M16? I think most people would. I think some people might wait down the road to see if they can get it a little bit lower in price. But I do think this stirs up like a, a want and kind of a, a need to go out and go purchase this rifle. If you do plan on buying the SA-16A2, please drop a comment down below. I'd love to know if you're gonna go and pick one or would you wait to see if you're gonna pick one up? Comment down below. I hope this video gave you an insight and first look into the new SA-16A2. I think it's pretty cool that Springfield Armory is bringing new products like this to the market for everyday people like myself and you. If you do find that you want to purchase one of these, I'll link it down below for you guys to check out. As always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, and I will catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. All right, let's give it a couple, a couple more shots here. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I love that. I feel so good. <laughs>